What's in this one? Whoa. Ooh, I like what I see. Look right there. Sketchers. Whoa, we just made bank and they didn't even know it when I was making this video. I am so excited and so nervous right now. Why? This guy right here. We are here in Colonial Williamsburg, Virginia, one of the most historic cities in the world. And we just spent $630 plus fees, almost 800 bucks on a five by 10 storage unit. I am gambling big here. Let's get in there and see if it pays off. Why would we gamble that much money on such a small unit? Let me explain to you the reasons. One, fishing poles here and fishing poles on the ceiling. We've had very good luck in the past with fishing stuff. Over here, RC cars, silver cases, very intriguing to gamblers like me. And over here, a bunch of shoe boxes. And when I looked up this right here, which is on all these boxes, all those boxes, and all these boxes what came up was like a high-end shipping company now they could have just repurposed the boxes we don't know obviously but i was taking my chances i saw enough to want to go for it so let's start opening some boxes because i'm impatient and i can't wait we're just going to open a silver case mostly because we brought the car just to pay today and we're going to go through the boxes well it's heavy actually silver case right off the bat yeah we're going right into the silver case all right what do you think it is uh what, what's usually in a silver case? I can't even like think of anything that usually in a silver I, case. The only thing I had a case like that for was a gun cleaning kit. That's one oh. of the other reasons I wanted to gamble. Good point. Let's see what it is. Oh, Whoa. look at that. It's a stainless steel. It's like a brand new barbecue grill set. That has 100% never been used. Nice. That's a good start right there. I don't know what, does it have a brand on it? Let's see, it just uh, says something right here too. stainless steel. What's it say? Nest. <laughs> Gold Peak T. Tea. <laughs> That's weird. That's really weird. Let's hope that has some cool value. I tried searching Google, eBay, Amazon, their website, and so many other sites, and there seems to be nothing on the existence of this grill set. So I have no idea what this thing is worth right now. This box is, feels like closed. What does that even say on it? See if you can interpret that. Uh, I see H O W E or H O U S E. It could be house. I don't know. Okay, there's a house in here. <laughs> Must not be a very big one. Uh, this tape's gonna be strong. This is electrical tape, isn't it? Or just yeah. black duct tape. <laughs> what is this? You got a box with a sheet in it? Uh, really? How do we go from brand new nice grill set to U sheet in a box? I don't know what to think right now. What is this? Like some barbed wire? I mean, definitely wire. <laughs> <laughs> it's like barbed wire to me. This is, you go there. This looks like a diving suitor. This looks like what people use for like fly fishing, isn't it? Where you kind of just stand in the water so you yep. don't get all soaked and fish in the water. Yep. What's the brand on that? Orvis. Orvis. Fisher people. Let me know what we got here. Let's set that right there. And I guess we'll take down these boxes. Yep. These are one of the reasons I bet on it. Hey. Check this guy out. A rover. They paid rover. 50 bucks for it. I don't know if it's went down or up since then, but it's definitely in the box. It's actually like hmm. new. Can you open it? Like has it been opened at the top? No, it's taped. Okay, cool. But look, it's like a car I guess you can control with your iPhone or iPad. Oh, it has a camera on it. Oh, that's cool. We're about to torment oh, the cat. That'd be awesome. I want to get some up-close footage to what it looks like to be a cat on a cat's <laughs> level. And these were another reason we wanted the unit because I see RC cars from the picture. Those are awesome. Look at the size of that big boy. I know. Look at his size next to me. That's not a smart RC. I'm about to say smart. Smart That's car. That's not a small. <laughs> it is a smart car, I guess. Well, I thought you were about to say smart car because they're small. That's about the size of a real smart car. I don't know how people fit in those. They look like, I don't even know, anchovies or something coming out of there. And there is anchovies. <laughs> another one. Cyclone radio control. So two RC cars that were still in the box. You can see why I wanted to buy the unit. But now we can get to one of the bigger, bigger boxes. boxes. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy, heavy. Let's see if I can get it up without causing any problems. All right. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't look that heavy. It's a lot heavier than it looks. I would say that stack's not really. It's there. Uh, good. It's there. Ew, what is this? Clothes? Clothes, Jim. Ooh, what's this big boy? What is this first? Let's see what's in here. Is this a wallet, tablet? Just planner. a planner. Junk. What is this? <laughs> This is bad, isn't it? Huh? This is bad, isn't it? What is that? 
Shoulder pads for shoulder mount for your seatbelt. Yeah. All right. A journal. Why don't we? Why don't we take these down? We will after this <laughs> box. This. I don't want to break. DVD player. Those are cheap, like five bucks. It's weird now that the VHS players are worth more than the DVD players. And speak of the devil, the I saw VHS. VHS tapes right here, so I figured there had to be one in here. So a VHS player. Let's get this stuff out of the way. This looks like all their media devices, and there's a lot of them. This one is uh, another DVD player. And underneath that one, is that the TV? Uh, looks like a monitor. It's definitely a monitor. Let's just scoot that over then. Can you see the front of this? Yes. Oh, it's a six disc. I had one of these as a Direct kid. Access changer system. So it's a six, six disc CD changer. It's by Emerson. And over here, it's just VHSs and CDs all the way down. So lots of electronics to start. I was happy to find out that these six disc CD changers are still selling for over $100 plus shipping pre-owned on eBay. So not a bad find right there. So over here, we also got, I think two, I'm not gonna take it out cause I can tell you that it's just one of those, you know, baseball game, folding yard sale, chairs. yeah, folding chairs. I call them, like, I just associate them with baseball games in my head. Well, they're good yeah. condition. I mean, we always have new chairs for our garage, so. Yeah, there's two of them right there. And we got an ice scraper and brush, which will be useful here next month because, actually, today's 73. Like, two days ago, it was, like, 41. <laughs> Today, it's 73. Tomorrow, it's back to 50. Virginia, get it together. All right, let's see what's in this. This thing's heavy. So this is a, oh, it's a cast net for fishing, I'm assuming. Is it? Yeah, look at that. Oh, definitely don't unravel that. I'm not unraveling <laughs> that. Once you unravel it, it never goes back, I'm assuming. Oh, oh gosh, I see hooks. Yee. Last time we had a fishing unit, I think I got stabbed about 45 times from hooks. That's a phone case. Phone case, yep. Sorry, I didn't even know. I'm sitting here trying to see what else is in here. It looks like another net right there. Yeah, that's another net. And that's like a wheel. You see it? Yep. Looks like it came off this part. It probably <laughs> did. No, I'm just joking. Let's put this back in here. Let's get this stuff out the way so that we can pull out one of these big boxes here. I'm not even going to lie. This was one of the reasons I also bid on the unit. In the picture, all you could see was the A in my gun loving, praying, gambling self. I was hoping it said Beretta on it. <laughs> but no, it's probably just going to be a drill. No, it's not even a drill. What is that? A sander? So I was saying sander because it was flat, but now I can see that it does have a bit on it. So it is some type of drill. And it's Nikoda. Nikoda. Is that how you pronounce it? But it looks like it's in good shape and it's got the case on it. So that's probably something cool. Let's set this guy right here. And let's see what's in their toolbox. You think it's actual tools or I think it's fishing stuff? I'm sure it's tools. It's heavy, so I'm guessing it's tools. Oh yeah, typical worker toolbox. Hey look, they even left us a tip. Cool of like money. 30 cents. <laughs> And underneath of it, more tools. Is it all tools, wire? So maybe the dude was an electrician. We'll see as we go through the unit. Maybe we'll find more stuff that points to what they were actually doing. But based off the wires, as of now, I'm gonna guess electrician. Let's see if there's anything in the cooler. Oh, there's definitely something in the cooler. These not, things scare me. Not empty this time. They're like fridges, you know. Like sometimes <laughs> you open them and it's just some rotting, disgusting food. Ooh, no, not this time. What do we got? Just a model car or something what's in here what are these yeah. i don't even know i thought this was a model car but no this is the storage rental agreement <laughs> well right. didn't fulfill that let me make sure that there's like paper in here too i don't even know really strange all right then we got that's like a light again points towards kind of the electrician theory we have right now get this out there's stuff under it a pen oh it's an empty box a bunch of forks <laughs> what is this thing i don't uh, know car people maybe yeah trust <laughs> me i'm not a I, I absolutely surrender my man car when it comes to tool and car stuff because i have no idea about any of it so some metal things in here now we can get to this big box and see what's in that one i just tried to scoot this one out and it is heavy what is in here? Whoa. Oh boy. Hercules, Hercules. There it is, thank you. I, was, I needed some motivation. <laughs> Good enough for now, right? Yeah, it's fine. Let's see what this is. What the heck? Two seven eleven cups. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, slurpee cups. First, Whoa. let's see what all the slurpee cups are. I don't know what that is. These are, 
What is that from Wolverine? Yeah. Halo. Are these just all different collectible ones? More Halo. Halo. No, okay, I think we're this is we're going. <laughs> They're all Master Chief. Alright. Then this one's Spider-Man 3. Okay. So a cup collector. These are Superman. Simpsons movie. Oh, old. Simpsons movie's not too old. I remember when it came out. I went to go see it. <laughs> uh more Master Chief. Alright, so we have a lot of cups. Let's set these right here for now. Do you see the smile on my face? Because I am absolutely mind blown right now. And I'm gonna blow your mind really quick too because we just made bank and I didn't even know it when I was making this video. So, the Simpsons cups, the Wolverine cups, the Spider-Man cups, they're like five, $10 collectible pieces. Not bad, that's what I was expecting for all of them, right? But with Halo, no, 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 not the case with Halo. So let me explain a little something to you. Over here, we have these flags right here, these cups holding the flag. What do you think? Five, ten dollar collectible cup? No. The last one sold for fifty some dollars per one cup, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these. This one, I could not even find on eBay. This one right here. This is where it gets crazy. Only one of these is sold on eBay, and it was on auction. And guess what? One single cup sold for one hundred and thirty dollars for one single cup. One. And we have 15 of them right here. Are you kidding me right now? For cups? For 7-Eleven Slurpee cups? That just blew my mind, but that is so much bank. That's really almost two grand in Slurpee cups. Like, are you kidding me? All right, let's get back to the video. What is this trivial to shoot here? Whoa. Fancy. It's a... Limited edition holiday. I was gonna say that, but okay. I don't know why I said it out of order, but it's limited holiday edition. You said Sorry. It, you timed it like exactly with my words. That's a limited holiday. I just started reading it perfectly. So there's one, two of those. What is that big boy underneath of it? Looks like it might be a microwave. Let me set this over here for one second. In a bag. What? And right there. Might be a, uh, a, a microwave oven? Yeah, like a toaster oven thing. That's what I'm getting. Right, let's move this out the way. So that's the extension cords, obviously, but what's underneath of it? Oh, two more of those things. Two more of those guys right there. 2007. They're both 2007. Wait, it's a different color box. Is this one 2007? This one is. Doesn't have a year. Okay. All right. So no idea what those are worth, but they're wine, right? Wine ages might be worth more now. Hey, if you're having fun right now, you should leave this video a thumbs up. Like it, please, because it helps us out a lot. And subscribe if you are new, because we do this kind of stuff all the time. So we're gonna start grabbing some smaller boxes because, well, we didn't even plan on recording today. We brought the car just to come pay for it and we don't have a solid space. We're coming back tomorrow with the truck to get the rest. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. We're just gonna grab them all at once. All right. Ugh. We just didn't even plan on recording. Our plan was to come pay for it, lock it up, then I opened it up and looked in there and we're like, camera's in the car, right? <laughs> we gotta look a little bit. Let's see what's in this box. So this looks like a car CD player, maybe? Yeah. So that looks like right there, a CD player to a car. So again, the guy probably worked on cars. St. John's Bay, you think they're shoes? I'm gonna say no. I can see through that hole, I say no. <laughs> what, you tell me you don't wear this? <laughs> yeah. So a whole bunch of Sharpies, a smartphone. Is this one of the sliding ones? We were just talking about these earlier. Uh, yeah, Sharpies, meh. Go over here. What's in this one? Oh, oh all new? Galore. They're all new. What are the prices on these? $22. Look at that. 22 bucks. What about this pair right here? Let's just look at a few. 11 bucks. The white ones. 22 bucks. What? What about this one here? 11 bucks. They're all new. Literally. Okay, this pair doesn't have a tag. But this pair, 22 bucks. What about this one? Just so you don't think I'm joking, take a closer look. 22 bucks? Oh, couldn't focus on fast enough. Oh, sorry. But look at this. I mean, this has to be like 20 pairs plus, if not more, of brand new sunglasses. That was definitely unexpected. All right. What do you think's in the Reebok box? Uh, hopefully shoes? Nope. No. Okay. Uh, what is this, another CD player? Yep. Looks like another CD player. And a bunch of papers. This looks like somebody emptied out the glove department. This is what our, my glove department looks like. <laughs> Just a bunch of random tar-like paper. So 
that box is pretty cool. Now, let's grab the little box from here. Ugh, good here, big boy. What do you think it is? Something cool. Thanks. <laughs> All right, this is very helpful. It's this. What is awesome. this? Awesome, that's something cool. All right, let's see. What's the box in the box holding? It is, is it a car part? Yes. That looks like a car part. What is this? Come uh, on, give me, a, give me a guess. Uh, catalytic converter. <laughs> that was the worst possible guess. You might as well just said engine. I don't know what that means. <laughs> me I don't know what a catalytic converter Okay, make fun like. of us in the comments. I'm gonna guess a caliper. C-A-L-I-P-E-R, yes. Okay. I'm guessing that because I'm probably just as wrong as you are. Make fun of us. No idea. Pull out the long box here. That's Spider-Man. Look. That is Spider-Man. All right, so we have a Spider-Man back there. Ooh, I like what I see. Look right there. You recognize that letter? A P. A PlayStation Woo! 2. Ooh, and a Wii Box. Ooh, hey. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wonder if the PlayStation 2 is in there. Oh, it is, yes. <laughs> well, considering it's the console, yeah. it didn't have much of a choice. Uh, where should I put this? Let's put it right here. Look, that Wii a Box, though. Charging system for four Wii controllers. Oh, cool. Is the Wii in there? I'm going to say yes. Uh, it doesn't feel heavy enough for a Wii, but it's definitely not empty. Let's open the box. Is it a slide open or how is this open? Right here. Let's check it really quick. I don't really know. Wii is one of the consoles I didn't own because I wasn't into the whole motion gaming scene thing. Let's see if it's in there. Come on. No. Just everything but the system itself, of course. Yeah. I don't want to look at it now. Now I'm sad. But, you know, we still have a lot of units to go through, so it's very well to be somewhere else. This part of a car or something. Is this bubbles? Ooh. <laughs> what the heck is this? There's a dolphin. There's dolphins in there. Cool. Weird. There's the thing you pointed out. The charger for the Wii controllers. This is screws and loose. Let's open it up. Yeah, very random. Ask me about win for life. I'm guessing since we're in this unit, you didn't win. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. And is that one of these little homie dolls? Is that what that is? Who remembers the look? Can you even focus on him? Yeah. I think that might be one of the old school little homies. That's pretty cool. But other than that, just a thing of wet wraps. Let's grab from these boxes up here. Ooh, that's heavier than I thought it was gonna be. It's a long box, isn't I it? I didn't realize it was gonna be that long. I know, it just kept coming. Open, all right. What do you think it is? I don't know, let's see. Is it tail lights? I think it's tail lights. Look. That is tail light. It's a pair of them too, so. Oh, look right here. A Honda, Honda Prelude 97. All right. So it goes to a Honda. So those are tail lights. I wonder if these another set of tail lights or maybe it's the front lights. I don't know, let's see. Ooh. This one is different. This one just says storage on it, actually. You get the tape. Uh, let's see what's in this guy. Well, CD holder. Let's see if there's any CDs in there. Oh, that's full. Nice, like we don't have, they're actually DVDs, aren't they? Most of them are DVDs, it looks like. Then we got this toolbox. And down here first, let's see. Oh my gosh, that phone is like glued. Look at that. There it goes. Sticky, case, speakers. Let's see if there's anything in here. Ew, that's a really dirty tool. But, you know, tools aren't meant to be clean. They're just meant to do work. Unfortunately, we filled up our little Kia Forte, so we're gonna have to take a little break, and I'll see you in five seconds the next day when we have the truck. Day two, we're back, and now that we've done the research on the cups, man, I'm in another different kind of good mood right now. That paid for the unit times two. So now, it's just all fun. Let's get down the next big box here. We got the truck today, so we should be able to get through all of it. No problem. Uh, well, one of the fishing poles went down. <laughs> Destruction. <laughs> what does that say? Storage. Boom. Like all these white boxes just say storage. Well, that's not very helpful in trying to figure out what's in there. What's this? Just a book bag by Jansport. This is, I don't know. I have no idea. It says fashion on it, so assuming just- Is this just close. all blanket stuff? What's this? It's Leather a seat thing? cover. Oh, okay. It's a seat cover, a blanket, let me make sure there's nothing on the other side. 
It's another seat cup. There's two seat covers in there. Two seat covers, a blanket, and a Jansport book bag. That's very, 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 very random. So I'm just gonna take this, drop it down, and then get this one right here. Storage again. Storage. Oh, this one's heavy, yay. When I picked that one up, I could tell it was a lot lighter than last time, so I was nervous. Well, this one's heavy, heavy. I'm gonna see closing it again. There's no way it's gonna be closed again. Let's see. Well, is there anything under? Yeah, there is. There's stuff underneath of it. All right, so we're gonna have to throw some clothes out. I'm just gonna throw it on the floor because I'm destructive. Nah, just get rid of everything. Is it just clothes and books? It better not be. That's what it looks like so far. Don't say that. Well, we see books, clothes. Now there's a couple more cups down here. Here's a purse. What brand is that? Mm, I don't know. It's just a no, gosh. No person. <laughs> a Redskins cup. Another seat cover. Why do you have so many? I guess this guy had to work on cars with all the car radios and stuff we found. So over here is more books and more clothes. You know what? That's not what I wanted to see in this box. Let's pull up this one. All right, this one's a present. You see that? It's gift wrapped. Yay. Yeah. Oh, crazy heavy. We even got a stink bug. Look, it's free. Get off. <laughs> Let's see what. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh. Hey, hey. That is a crap ton of DVDs. It literally like, goes all the way. Look down. how tall this box is. I mean, from the side. That's probably, what, a foot and a half, two feet? Yeah. That's got to be like 100 to 150. I would guess, I would guess 150 DVDs. What do you think? See if they're in there. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably say around there. 100 to 200, maybe. Kung Fu Panda in there. What about Spider-Man? Spider-Man 3, are we in there? Oh yeah. We're gonna have a lot of movie lots at the next live auction, that is for sure. Let's get the next one of these big old boxes out. Ah, this one feels light like the other one. I have a feeling this one's gonna be more closed, yep. I could tell you when I picked it up, it just felt light. What's the brand on this guy? International scene, never heard of it. Anything buried in here? Nope. This one looks like it's gonna be closed all the way down on the right side and closed all the way down on the left side, so it's gonna be our table for the next box. Let's get the next one of these big boys out. This one's heavier than the closed boxes, but not as heavy as the other one, so somewhere in the middle. And everything's just like labeled storage. Oh, wrapping paper. What's my Christmas present? Ew. This is like the most disgusting kitchen stuff I've ever looked at and some Christmas decorations. You know what this box is going? Directly to the dump, because I'm not messing with that stuff. Let's get this one here right off the top. Ugh. This one's taped shut. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Was the cup one taped shut? The what? The cup. cup uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't yeah. know either. Don't so know. let's rip off this electrical tape or black duct tape. That was yesterday. Ooh, I, I, the action figures. I like this one better. Ooh. We got Spawn. Spawn. Spawn figure. There's more. Yes. Stop looking at us cheating. Sorry. <laughs> Another Spawn figure right there. And it's got the yellowing on it. So unfortunately, you can tell whoever owned these smoked in their house because that's what happens the uh, yellow on it. I'm going to set them right here. This is usually used for posters. So let's see what's in there. Oh, look. A poster. Let's Ooh. see what it is. Well, what is that? Oh, you know what these are, I think? Like car a decal? decal? Yeah, yeah, decals for the car. So it's probably more for work. It looks like flames. Yeah. Typical flames on the car. Cool guy stuff, right? Yeah. Those are the cars that like constantly rev their engine on the road when they're next to you. <laughs> this is, this looks like such a kid bag. This reminds me of the parachutes from elementary school. Yeah. Uh, a bag with a bag in it. Right. Oh. Oh yeah. An this Xbox. looks interesting. An Xbox controller. Oh, first, let's get to this. Another. Is that Spawn again? No, that's Total Chaos. Huh. Not sure what he is from. This is an Xbox 360 racing game plug-in to let you be able to play the racing games. I don't know what there were. We got us another extension cord in here. Is this a PlayStation 2? Yeah, PlayStation 2 controller. Put this back in here. This, I'm assuming, just goes with this. Yeah. The pedals. What's in here? What's down there, actually? 
a flashlight and like a grill type thing it looks like this has got some kind of toys in it too what are these guys like playful yeah i think these are more so like you know little kids toys and stuff like that price. yeah so we're just gonna leave those in there that is what i'm looking for when i open boxes lots of toys what are these do they say something on them yeah that's like a yeah like a car belt or something so yeah steel action figures and video games that is what i'm looking for in boxes that side was cool you know i gotta get another one from over there hey if you made it this far in the video go down to the comments leave a comment saying i can't believe that was in there just do it it's my favorite thing to see who watches all the way through because we know who the real fans are and who are the fake fans i like to skip <laughs> i don't like you skippers all right let's see what's in here gotta get three pieces of duct tape off this time what do you think it's got a good weight to it uh, I feel like, what do you call it, Gatorade type things? Water cooler. Water cooler, yeah. I associate them with Gatorade. What kind of shoe is that? A Reebok? They might be vintage Reebok. I've never seen this. Mm -mm. They might be old. They look gross. Yeah, Reebok doesn't really have nothing on Jordan, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, this clothes. Oh look, it's for the people that leave hate comments. Do they need them 24 hours a day? These are new jeans that they paid 23 bucks for. They're not too expensive. Over here, this is just a giant bag of pillows. And there's a set of dishes down here. Let's see the brand on these. Dynasty Fine China. Ooh, but I know the word Fine China likes to get used constantly to make stuff sound expensive, even though it's really not. So hopefully Dynasty is one of the ones that actually are worth something. This one here sounds like it's kitchen dining stuff, but just to make sure, we gotta cut it open. I don't have a knife with me, but I do have switchblade keys. That'll do the trick, right? Careful with that, too. Now you can start the truck. Yeah, but it's dangerous. Yeah, I think that was a cooler. Okay. Let's see what's in the cooler. Last time it was random stuff in there. Wow. All dishes. It's all dishes in the cooler. So we are not gonna sit here and go through dishes, unfortunately. I'm closing this box up and getting the next one out. I got me another one, and this one is heavy. Ugh. What do you think's in there? What does that even say? Storage. Oh, does that say microwave? No, don't say that. I don't agree. It says micro ray. It's like a alien futuristic gun, all right? Hopefully. You gotta be, future you gotta be I guess, positive. <laughs> even if it's unrealistic. I hate when they so un like evenly tell you one box has no tape, one box has two pieces, one box has a hundred. This is a weird microwave. You think this can cook me some chicken nuggets? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, there it is. It's under all the clothes. It is most definitely a microwave. And what are these? Oh, this is their pay stubs. All right. It's clothes. I guess they're using clothes as padding. What is this? Oh. This doesn't look like regular clothes. This is mail. So they're literally just using clothes and mail to pad their microwave, I guess, unfortunately. Second to last of these type of boxes, then we can see what all else is in there. Get up here. And this one is taped heavily. Does that mean they care about it? Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Let's cut it open and find out. Ugh, there it is. Let's see. Clothes. There's no way with all that weight. Close all the way down, really? Oh no, this. What's this? That's the question from over here. Let's see what that is. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> it's an air mattress. No, there's something else in there. There's electronics in here, it looks like. So check in this box right here. I don't really know what this is. But they packed it in so tightly that I can barely get it out. <sighs> what did you guys hide in here? This is an old house phone like receiver that we don't want to look at. It's an iron and a bunch of loose wires. Really? I was hoping this to be like a game console or something. Let's get this out the way. The only other thing in there is speakers. All right, we got one more of these white boxes. Let's hope for more action figures. Last red and white box, and I'm not even gonna lie to you, it feels light. Let's see, this might be bedding. This one is bedding all the way down. 
Well, that was weird. One random red box was good. All the rest of them were crap. But you know what? That's barely even half the unit. There's a lot more. So let's see what else we got in here. Only this side of the unit. We saw last time there was like a Spider-Man cutout. These look like car rims. Now I don't know if they're in the box. If they're in the box, that could be worth some serious money. But first, let's get this big box out of the way here. Because it doesn't look like, it looks like junk in here. So let's kind of just look. Yeah, it's a hose and that thing. What is that thing? I can't see it. I don't know. I don't know either. So it looks like something junky. It's the dirtiest crap, whatever it is. So we're just going to get this box out the way. So now we can get to the taped ones. Like this one. Can I just pick it up by its tape? Nope. Oh, it's <laughs> heavy. What the heck is this? Oh my gosh. Well, at least I don't get the tape off like this. Yeah. It's literal weight. Oh, okay. Well, okay, at least that makes sense on why it's so heavy. It's literal <laughs> weights. What about this one? This one's open. Can you see over there? Uh, I'm coming. I'm coming. It's literally a speaker. A speaker. A set of speakers. Two speakers. Yeah, a set of speakers. Let me get this one out of the way. Then we'll see what's in the other one real quick. This guy. Where's the tape? Get off. Oh, there's the rest of it. So it's probably a disc changer with the centerpiece and those two speakers probably one big system so this is the fishing pole that we actually knocked down it's the shakespeare ugly stick and the reel on it is a, what does that say Lovematic ball bearing pen 910 nine, yeah. i don't know if that's like the default one that comes on it or if they put something on there they sell i learned last fishing unit that the reels can go from you know 20 bucks to hundreds of dollars so it's kind of like that take this one out Yeet, come on out. This guy is a tiger spinning Shakespeare. And the reel is a samurai 400 or 4038. I'm hoping we have some fishing people to watch our videos and be like, oh, that's a Walmart one, that's a $50 one, that's a $100 one. This guy doesn't have a reel or anything on it. I really other ugly stick. It's another ugly stick. So they might just bought two, Let's go back and forth. This thing, I don't even know what to begin with that. Uh, I think it's an umbrella. Oops. Let's get this one out of here. It's awkward to fit him through. So this guy is a pen fierce graphite. And the reel on it is a Dama? Dawa? It looks like it says D-A-W-A. Sweet Fire 4002B. That. So quite a few fishing poles. This is probably the only reason realistically this unit went as high as it did because fishing stuff could be worth a lot of money. Get out, get out. This guy, uh, Pen Fierce Graphite. You know, like ever since COVID hit for some reason, like all the stores like used to be able to get fishing poles and stuff like Walmart and stuff, they've all been out. So it's kind of cool to have some now. We were just literally talking about going to get some like a week or two ago because we wanted to go fishing. That's a thick reel there. This is the Pen Jig Master number 500, it says on it. And the pole is a Black Beauty 2. This is heavy right here. Like you can just tell that's quality. I hope. Last pole on this thing is this guy, the Pen Legion 1530S70. You know what that means, right? Right. Of course you do. There's all those poles. There's more on the roof that we'll get out soon. This. And this, I think, is what you said. I think this is the pole to this umbrella right here. Yeah. And this is a step ladder. But this thing right here, you see the thing on the floor? Yeah. I think that's to hold all the fishing poles and everything in there. So that's pretty cool. I want to give a shout out to the former owner of this unit because this creativity is on point. Check down here. This isn't even something that's pre-made. These are pipes that are zip tied and screwed on here. And I'm finally realizing everything. This is like for the fish, you know, here's a little knife you pull out. I don't know if he cuts up the fish, cuts up the bait, whatever, right there. The middle pole is bigger because yeah, it fits the umbrella. You put it up and you have sunshade and then you have spot for all your fishing poles right there. Realistically, this might be something to be cool just to keep throwing it back of the truck when we want to go fishing because you just prop it up. You never got to sit in the sun. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so we just dragged out this big metal tub thing. So that's the top of it. We opened it up just to make sure there was nothing in it and you know, we're just gonna use it to store more stuff. But when I see this, cause I'm a UFC fan, they always use these things for like the ice, ice baths in the middle of the training. That's what I think of. But I think it's actually used as like what, like pig feed or something. Yes. I feel like it's used on a farm or something. So we got that big thing. Then we got this, which is, well, I thought it was a folding table, but it's just a tabletop with no legs. 
<laughs> all right that then we got this guy here what is this exactly generation three high performance lighting that's definitely what's in there is it more car lights car yeah more car lights so we're just gonna leave them in there this guy couldn't tell you <laughs> no idea. This guy like seems like the type of guy that likes to make everything he uses. I feel like half this stuff in here is like handcrafted, hand forged. What is this? Like a s something to do with fishing, I'm assuming. Yeah, like something to put in the water. Maybe it's some type of net. Yeah, that's my only guess. It's a weird looking one. That looks almost like a. I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I thought it's trying to think of something to compare it to, but I couldn't. It just looks like a that. This is legs. Maybe these are the legs to that. This? No, there's no way. I don't know, man. I don't know. This jeep is weird. It is. There's like a lot of cool stuff. And there's a lot of stuff here. Just like, what is that? This definitely has to be something with fishing, all right? Yeah. Definitely has to be. Same with this stuff here. What is that? Rose thing. I'll check that in a second. What is it? Is it shoe? Are these shoes? Oh no. Let's see what's in there. Opens this way. Cool, the staple gun. Let's see if it works. Ready? No, no, don't. <laughs> I just wanted to do that to trigger some people in the comments. And there's just a bunch of random little pieces of electronics in there. So this is a Black & Decker 12 amp saw that's still in the, ow, it's smushed my finger. Still in the box. Check that out. I don't even know what something like this would go for. Are these expensive? Hopefully. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't yeah. know tools. I don't know tools at all. Okay, so now we're back to the car stuff. What is this? A punch 12 inch stage three subwoofer? Do we have enough internet in here to scan this, I wonder? I doubt it. Let's see if we can scan this on eBay and see what it is. No exact matches found. All right. Well, is that the actual barcode? They put a sticker over it, I think. There's a sticker over the barcode, so we can't scan the real one. That's probably their inventory sticker, so. Watch that box is open. Let's see if that's actually even what's in here. Yeah, that looks new. Yes, it is. A punch P3 subwoofer. So I wish I'd be able to scan it and tell you what it's worth, but unfortunately I can't do that. So there's two of these in here. I guess like everything else, audio, they come in pairs. <laughs> Let's set it up here. So I looked these guys up on eBay and they seem to go for a good amount, but the thing was the price varies drastically and there doesn't seem to be any difference in the title or description. So I'm not sure which one of these we have, but either which way, the lowest I see these selling pre-owned is like 180 bucks. So I will take it. Let's just hope that it's one of the higher end ones. But if you know, definitely let us know in the comments. Oh, no. Okay, we're just gonna set it down here. <laughs> Cause that's sliding. Gonna set it there. Everything's trying to take me out. <laughs> Too much stuff in here. <laughs> Let's look at a Timberland box. Hey. Okay, not, not Tim's. Not Tim's, but, but they are new shoes. New. They got them on clearance for 18 bucks. Good yeah, they're new. Shoes. What about this one? Hey, the another same one. pair. I think I have four pairs of these all in different boxes. I'm just gonna open them up. Give me Nikes. Oh, different pair. What about Jordan? Nikes. Those are old <laughs> Nikes though. These could be vintage. Look at that. They did not look new. But Jamie also worked at McDonald's. Yep. And then last one we got Skechers. Whoa. Hold up. Skechers are my babies. That's got enough weight to have an iPad in it. That has enough weight. I, I hate Apple's boxes. I hate their oversized, overpackaged box. It's so heavy and it always trolls me. There's nothing in there. We got a Batman phone case, Mr. Incredible, and a few more random wires. So this guy here is another Craftsman saw. Actually, the other one wasn't Craftsman, I don't think. I think it was Black & Decker. Decker. Yeah, but a Craftsman saw, again, still in the box. So let's hope these are worth a little something. Cool people help me out. You know what I've noticed about these? Huh. These are worth good money. But when we, is this one of those mobile AC units? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it is. General Electric. You know what we have like the bad luck with? We always find these in the winter and find heaters in the summer. Like, can we, you know, just switch those so we can find those when they're selling and find the heaters when they're selling too? You always find them when nobody wants it. Like, nobody's gonna want this now. It's 50 degrees out and colder at night. But you know what? Probably just have to let it sit in the garage until summer comes back around. Here we got a home theater, like a power thing, whatever you want to call it, surge protector that thing 
It's also got phone cables, maybe for like the internet or something in it. That's weird. I've never seen that. See that? Yep. Are these egg cartons? That's what it looks like. So do these people raise eggs or is there something fishing fans out there? Is there some reason you would need that as a fisherman? Because I can't I think know. of one. But this guy had a lot of fishing stuff. Maybe they had chickens, I don't know. Little phone wire that probably goes to that surge protector. Another chair. Now here's the question. These boxes, there's four of these. Since there's four, I'm gonna assume they're probably in there. But I there's- see it. Oh, it's open. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, they're all their Honda rims. They're not new or nothing. Look, you see a little bit of rust here. But I can't imagine they're worthless. They gotta be worth a little something something. And I tried to scan that barcode. It won't register, it's their product one. And the only other barcode on the box is this one, which is the shipping label. So I don't know how to really look it up right now. Anyone? Trackers? I don't know. You guys look it up, let us know. Yeah, cause that's weird. Last little bit of the unit over here. So this looks like we have us another outdoor chair. That's exactly what it is. I think it's like five in this unit so far, but they're one of those things we always use. It's gonna fall. That's okay. all right. Such a chair. Hey, there's a fishing net right here. So you don't have to fight it up. Like I didn't used to use these when I was little. So when you catch something big, you have to actually fight it all the way up in the air, which is kind of annoying. That's what the net's for. Spider-Man. So look at him, he's like crawling. That's kind of cool. Well, I guess it stands like this. I don't even know how it's supposed to stand. Because his arm goes up, so it probably yeah. just goes on the wall somehow. Yeah, it has to just go on the wall. I thought it was one of those like cut out stand up guys. There's a bunch of these little cardboard things back here. Let's see who Who's this that? one is. Terminator. The Terminator. Nice. That's Slurpee too. That's pretty cool. This did, did he work? Remember the pay stub? Oh. They work at 7-Eleven. That's how they got all this collectible Whoa. stuff from 7-Eleven, the cups. I just like made the connection. I know. I didn't even say that on video. Yeah, we looked at the pay stubs. They work <laughs> at 7-Eleven. I cannot find a single one of these Slurpee Terminator cutouts that has sold online anywhere, but there's one listed on eBay for $180. So that's unfortunately all we have to go off of in terms of what this thing is worth. If you know anything more, definitely let us know. Yeah. That's how you got all this collectible stuff. Corona light, I'm sure also 7-Eleven. I don't see it on there anywhere, but I bet you this one's 7-Eleven as well. And the only other thing in the unit is this thing and this random set of wheels, which not too sure what it goes to. But I'd say this one was pretty killer. So let's take it home, go through it, and let's do a recap on it. My stupid self completely forgot that there were fishing poles on top of this unit too. I was literally about to just go pack everything up and we're like, wait a second. There's still poles sitting on the top that we didn't even show you yet. So let's get these guys down first. These look bigger, don't they? Significantly bigger. So this one is a Power Plus, what's that say? Trophy class. Power Plus Trophy class. And I think these are both rods that go through. Like this is a huge one, maybe like deep sea fishing or something. I don't know, that's a big rod in comparison to the other ones we found. But this one looks more standard. Get down, get down. This guy is, where is it, it doesn't say. You see it? Just it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. A Jarvis Walker Tough Tip TTSS 102MH. You all know what that means because I sure don't. Now, that is actually everything in the unit. Check out this load. Cross your finger for us and anybody daring enough to drive behind this truck on the way home. So we found out some super interesting information on the former owner of this unit. But before we do that, I gotta tell you my plan here with these cups. So like I said before, we're sitting on 2,000 plus dollars in Slurpee cups, which is the craziest thing to have $2,000 of. Do you have $2,000 for the Slurpee cups? I might be the only guy in the world that does right now. But I'm probably gonna slowly introduce those on eBay. One or two a week at most, we don't completely crash the market and you know destroy things like that. So that's the plan for those. But as far as the owner, I found out something interesting. From 2000 to 2015 this guy owned a mechanic shop that was literally seven minutes from the storage facility which was also less than 10 minutes away from their house they lived right by the facility we found the address and that place was generating three point some million dollars yearly so it's crazy to see in 2007 we have pay stubs he worked at 7-eleven so which obviously is not paying as much as 3.7 million dollars if it does sign me up 7-eleven just saying so you kind of wonder what happened how he went from 7-eleven 3.7 million dollar job to losing a storage unit. That's life right there. I really wish I know what happened, but I couldn't find any other information on the guy, but 
That is what I found out. So if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.